Injection for the Quaven stenosynovitis is one of the more challenging injection procedures. There is very little soft tissue in the area and the patient should be warned about the possibility of tissue atrophy and skin hypopigmentation. The procedure can be made easier by knowing your surface anatomy and palpating for the affected tendons and sheath. The surface anatomy will be demonstrated in this video and then I will do a teaching demonstration of the injection procedure. The quivane stenosynovitis is inflammation of the tenosynovial sheath in the first extensor compartment. This compartment contains the extensor pollicis brevis and the abductor pollicis longus tendons. Inflammation in this area can present with pain and swelling at the radial border of the wrist. Inflammation occurs where the tendons pass under the extensor retinaculum. The aim of the procedure is to inject within the tenosynovial sheath by sliding the needle just alongside or between the tendons. The entry point is about 3 cm proximal to the first CMC joint which is indicated here and in the area of the radial styloid. Palpate the radial styloid and identify the tendons by having the patient extend the thumb against resistance. Then mark the point for injection. The injection is done with the wrist in slight ulnar deviation. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is clean, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. I have a 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle and a mixture of 30 mg of dapomadril with 2% xylocaine mixed to a volume of 1 ml. Advance the needle alongside the tendons, aiming towards the elbow for about 2 cm. Always aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel. Then inject the solution. It should go in freely. If you encounter any resistance, withdraw and adjust the needle accordingly. Dry the area and apply a bandage. Massage the area to disperse the medication.